So we start by checking your homework, correct? Remember I gave you a homework? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, not this one. That's not your homework. Uh, just a minute. Right there. There it is. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, no, there it is. No, it's gone. There it is. No, it's gone. Right. Just check my settings first before I continue. Right. We're going to first off start with Maya. Are you there? Yes. Right. Maya, read this about Archie. Go. Archie had a great weekend. He went, he went to the beach and it's very hot. Oh, he and it was very hot. Come on, you forgot the word was. And it was very hot. Mm -hmm. He went swimming in the sea and saw lots of beautiful fish. He saw some crabs. He saw some crabs too. He didn't have fish and chips, but he had an ice cream. It was a great weekend. Good, thank you. Right, now let's get students. Everyone try to answer something. So, who's starting with the first question? Who's reading this? Come on, come on. Who? Who can read this? Weekend question? Huh? 40 Beauty, go. Do you have a good weekend? Not do, did. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Right, another student answer. 22. Yes, Anda? Uh, yes, I did. Right, who's doing the next line? The next question, Beach. Number 11. 11, go. 13. 11, go. Did you go to the beach? Did you go to the beach? Who's answering? Number six. Number six. Go. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Next question. Student number? 13. 13. Yufa, go. Did you go swimming? Good. Did you go swimming? Who's doing the answer? 13. What number? 16. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Bim? Yes. 16. But you sound like 13. Okay. Okay, Bim. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Right. Who's doing the next one? Come on, who's doing crabs? 39. What, 39? Maya? Did you see any crabs? Right, who's answering? Come on, somebody answer. 11. Two. Two. 22. Sorry, 22. Okay, and? Uh... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Right. Who's doing the next question? Leela. 13. Okay, 13. Yufa. Did you have an ice cream? Huh? Huh? There's fish and chips. <laughs> you did this one. Did you have fish? Oh, now you've done two. 
Come here. First you do the wrong one, now you do another one. Right, come on, who's doing fish and chips? Another student, not Yufa. Yufa's, Yufa's ding dong. <laughs> come on, who's doing fish and chips? Come on, who's doing this question? Fish and chips. 22. No, All right, under, go. Did you have fish and chips? Did you have fish and chips? Right, who's answering fish and chips? 39. Okay, okay. Maya. Maya. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Who's answering Yufa's wrong question here? Forty. Ice cream. Thirty. Forty. Thirty. Forty. Nineteen. Okay, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Yes, I did. Right, yes, I did. Good. Well done. Right. Now, make sure, students, check your writing and please make sure that you have this is correct in your writing, that you have the comma next to the S and after the comma, between the comma and the next word I, you have a gap. This is something every year I see students get wrong. You don't have a gap here or sometimes you put the comma in the middle and it's wrong. It goes like this. So make sure that is correct in your writing for the yes no answers remember things like comma apostrophe full stop question mark there is no gap no gap okay it's all dit gun right so well done everyone's finished that i think so i can And students who are good at writing, you could. Students who are good at writing, you could use a pen. All right, you should start using the pen for writing if your writing is nice and good, which I know some of you are. All right, okay. So let's move on now to lesson six, which is this page of your activity book. All right, this page of your activity book. Lesson six. Listen and tick the words that you hear so we have the word hotel if you hear the word hotel when when i play the audio you put a tick in the box if you don't hear the word hotel no tick in the box yeah. and we have island although it's spelt with an s we say island and not island island tents cars museum this is a Helmet from a long time ago, an ancient helmet, museum, beach, river, lake. What is she doing on the lake? Who can answer? What activity is this in this picture? 22. Yes, under. She is sailing. No, she's not sailing. No, it is not sailing. Anyone else? It does have a sail. Yes, there is a sail, but it is not sailing. Does anyone know? 
It is wind surfing. This is a surfboard using the wind. So it's called wind surfing, wind surfing. Okay. Here we have swimming pool and here we have helicopter, helicopter. Right, so I'll just listen and tick the boxes. Listening 2.21. Listen and tick the words you hear. Hi, Nathan. Did you have a good holiday? Hi, Tim. Yes, I did, thanks. It was brilliant. Did you go with your mum and dad? Yes, I did. And my little brother, Harry. Did you stay in a hotel? No, we didn't. We went camping. Great! I love camping. Where did you camp? We camped on an island. On an island? Really? Have you got a big tent? We've got two tents. Mum and Dad and Harry have got a big tent and I've got a small tent. What was the weather like? Well, it rained on the first day, but after that, it was hot every day. What did you do? Did you go to the beach? Yes, we did. And one day we went rowing on a lake. Did you row? Yes, I did. But Harry didn't. He isn't good at rowing. What else did you do? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yes, the helicopter. Did you see a helicopter? We went in a helicopter. Really? Ander, what are you doing? Writing. What are you doing, Ander? I'm writing. Why are you writing? I'm listening. You're, you're not doing what I say. You're writing. What are you writing? Show me. All right, okay, okay. Sorry if I was wrong. Just making sure people, everyone should be listening and not doing something else. I don't want to see anybody. What I mean is, when I ask you to do this, I don't want somebody doing this. Because if you're doing this, that is wrong. It's listening and it is very important that you listen to the audio from this um, page because it's very, very good English that you can hear. And so that's why I like you to listen. Right. It says, so these are the words you should have ticked. Not car, not museum, and not river, and not swimming pool. You should have hotel, island, tents, beach, lake, helicopter. Okay, now it says here, then listen again, or listen, and circle A or B. Well, that's this part, isn't it? Here's the A and the B. So this time you will listen again, and you circle the A or the B. So you have to read this and then circle. Okay, now we do this part. Listen. Listening 2.21. Listen and tick the words you hear. Hi, Nathan. Did you have a good holiday? Hi, Tim. Yes, I did, thanks. It was brilliant. Did you go with your mum and dad? Yes, I did. And my little brother, Harry. Did you stay in a hotel? No, we didn't. We went camping. Great! I love camping. Where did you camp? We camped on an island. On an island? Really? Have you got a big tent? We've got two tents. Mum and Dad and Harry have got a big tent and I've got a small tent. What was the weather like? 
Well, it rained on the first day, but after that, it was hot every day. What did you do? Did you go to the beach? Yes, we did. And one day we went rowing on a lake. Did you row? Yes, I did. But Harry didn't. He isn't good at rowing. What else did you do? Uh, I don't know. Oh yes, the helicopter. Did you see a helicopter? We went in a helicopter. Really? Yes. We saw the sea and the island and the town. It was amazing. Right. Now to to uh, answer this, what I would like to do is, I will ask you a question, and I would like you to answer the question not by just saying A or B, but to answer the question in a sentence. All right. So you have to listen carefully to the question and then maybe you can answer the question correctly. So my first question is, what is Nathan's brother called? Same as what's his name. What is Nathan's brother called? Who can answer? Right, under first. His name is Harry. No, you didn't listen to the question. What is Nathan's brother called? I didn't ask name. What is Nathan's brother called? Nathan. Brother is Harry. No. Not exact. Not well. Not 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 exactly what I want. Can another student try? What is Nathan's brother called? Dobby. Maya? Nathan's brother is called Harry. Getting better, but we don't repeat Nathan's brother. Again, what is Nathan's brother called? Well done for trying, Anna and Maya. What is Nathan's brother called? All right, I will help you with the first one. So well done, both of you. But we change Nathan. We don't repeat Nathan's brother. We use the pronoun. He. He's called Harry. OK, what's. Nathan's brother called. He is called Harry, or he's called Harry, short form. All right. But well done for trying. Well done for trying. Just little mistakes, but that's all part of learning. That's good. Okay. Number two. Mm. Where did, past tense, isn't it? Where did Nathan and his family sleep or stay? Doesn't matter which word I use now. Where did Nathan and his family stay? Who can answer? Forty. Beauty. They stay. They camp on an island. Well done, very good. Okay, we don't say Iceland, we say island. They camped on an island, or they stayed on an island. You could have used the word "they stayed on an island," but it says they're camped, so you can change it to "they camped on an island." I couldn't use the word camp in a question because you can't camp in a hotel, can you? Well, very good, well done. Mute your microphones. Mute your microphones. Nook Nick, mute your microphone, please. That's it, thank you. Right, so stayed is the past tense of stay, 
with ed on the end and camped it's the past tense of camp camping all right well done so that one was b wasn't it next we have what has nathan got that's an easier one what has nathan got Twenty two. Yes, under. He's got a small tent. That's what I wanted. He's got a small tent. He's is a short form from he has. Nathan has. We changed Nathan to he. He has got a small tent. Well done. Good. Good. Right. The next one, number four. When did it rain? 37. Yes, Yok. It rain on the first day. Good answer. That, this one's an easier one, isn't it? You just have to read it. It rained. When did it rain? It rained. Rained is the past tense of rain on the first day. Good. Okay, my next one. What isn't Harry good at? What isn't Harry good at? Who can answer? Remember, change Harry to he. What isn't Harry good at? Go in. Okay, Layla, eleven. He isn't going. He isn't good. Again, please, Layla. He isn't good at. He isn't good. Good at blowing. That's it. Well done. Thank you very much. He isn't good at rowing good well done right next we have mm, this is what mm, what what happened oh uh, just just read the correct answer but change oh, no 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 what happened to Nathan and his family or what did Nathan and his family do 39 Maya they went in the helicopter that's what I wanted all you had to do was change this Nathan and his family to they good they went in a helicopter well done this is a very simple way of learning grammar changing you change the nouns these are nouns and names to pronouns he they good well done right i am going to I'm going to give you a homework, all right? Again, it's a homework. You don't have to put it on. Uh, it, it's not a homework you have to. It's not a homework I want to see on the line group. It's a homework I want to hear. So you, you, you do the homework, and then when we have class again tomorrow, you can read or say some of your answers to me. So close your books so you're not copying, because I don't want you to copy. I don't want you to copy. So clo just close your books for now, please, and just listen, all right? So this is a speaking activity. Did you go swimming? No, I didn't. Did you have a burger? No, I didn't. Did you? see a helicopter yes i did we're not doing this speaking activity because i find it's difficult if we're not in a classroom but we are going to do 
this part here, five, uh, three, write five sentences. Now, this is your homework. This is your homework. And I ask you to close your book, so I don't want you to copy. I just want you to, want to show you how to do this, okay? So, went, past tense of go, to a market. Think of someone who went to a, a supermarket, maybe you or your friend or your family or something. I chose my mum went to a supermarket. You can choose who you like up there. Right, now you start to think of things yourself. Think of things yourself. So I chose John went to the beach. Now, because I'm talking about John, positive, went to the beach, I'm going to change John to a negative in the next one. I changed John to he, pronoun. He didn't go, that's a negative of when, he didn't go to the zoo. So you have a positive and a negative. Number three, I chose Cam, saw some seahorses. So I've got go, went here, I've got seesaw here, haven't I? Cam saw some seahorses. Then I changed to he didn't see any monsters. Oh, good. Lucky I didn't see any monsters. And then I have for number four, I'm using have had now. So what I'm, what I'm telling you, students, is um, let me just... Um, let me let me just write here. So, but first, I'm using go. Yeah, I'm using go for number two. Then. Next one. I'm using, oh, what was it now? I forgot now. C, aren't I? C for number three. And then I'm using have these three verbs for number four. All right. So I'm using C for number three. Saw, didn't see. I'm using have for number four. My family had pizza and ice cream. We didn't have fish and chips. I could have said they didn't have fish and chips. That's me and my family. Right. And then for number five, so what I would like you to, okay, you can open your books now, students. I would like you to write go, see, have. Write go under number two, write see under number three, and write have under number four. And then number five, let's choose the verb do. Let's choose the verb do. Okay, so I write do. All right, I've chose the verb do for number five. So 411 did some writing. Did some writing, but they didn't do the homework. Yeah. All right. That's using did, didn't do. So you say did homework or did something. So this one's a bit more difficult because we, we're not used to doing do, are we? All right. You can say you can you can you can say 
four slash eight did the homework, but they didn't answer the teacher or something. I don't know. Okay, just so copy this, go see, have do, then try to make positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative sentences with the past tense. All right. Do we understand? So don't copy this. Yes. But, but you can, okay, yes. if you understand, you can start to do your homework now. You can start now. Start with first one, one and two. You can start now. But don't copy mine. Remember, don't. I don't want anyone to copy. So we have, I will put a tick here just to show this is the positive. Yeah, this is the positive. The positive. And I'll put a cross to show it's the negative. The negative the negative all right so that that's a positive sentence this one's a negative sentence we don't have to copy this positive negative a positive a negative negative it means didn't didn't all right right I'm going to close that because I don't want you to copy. Right, just before we go then, who can give me some answers? Who can, who can say something? And I will tell you if it's okay or not. 22. Yes, under? I went to the pool. Yes, and the negative, I didn't? I didn't go to the pool. No, not the pool, the pool. You can't say, I went to the pool, I didn't go to the pool. I went to the pool, I didn't go to the cinema, maybe. All right? Not, not use pool two times, but, but, but good. Okay, another student? Maya, you have something finished? Come on. What can you say? What can you say? I went to the water world. I didn't go to the beach. All right, I went to water world. Remember water world, we don't say the. I went to water world, I didn't go to the beach. You can write that, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Beauty? Beauty, can you say something? No? Anyone? 13. Yes. You far? Finn went to go to playground. Stop, stop. Finn went to the playground, not went to go, okay? Finn went to the playground, yes? And he, he didn't go to the school. Go to school, we don't need the. Okay, Finn went to the playground, he didn't go to the school. Okay, good. Well done. Anyone else? Any more? All right. So that's why it's a homework. All right. That's why it's a homework because I know it's going to take you some time. What's number 10 doing? What do you got in your head? Right. So just finished. 
finish those as, as a homework and then when we have class tomorrow that's where we start okay we start by hearing some of your answers and then i will tell you if there's any little mistakes in there okay so don't forget watch the youtube videos because they are there to help you you need you have to have the lesson, watch and go through it quickly if you like, the videos, just to make sure that you understand because teaching you online sometimes goes too fast. All right. And maybe it's, it's good if you can um, hear something again. All right. Okay. That's all for today then. See you. Tomorrow. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.